Hello, my name is Bob. Once again, I'd like to welcome you to another episode on the White Dog Garage YouTube channel. Some time ago, I was helping a friend fit some architrave moulding. Anyhow, I asked him if he had a plane, and he said he had a plane, and he produced this plane, which was a little old box plane. He really had seen better days. I used it with reservation, but in the end I made him an offer he couldn't refuse and said I would take it back to the workshop and do a bit of renovation on it. And this video is about the renovation that I did on it and I hope you follow along. Well, here it is. Looks okay sitting on the bench, but when you turn it over you can see the corrosion on the foot and much worse the jagged edge of the blade. Pretty bad but I think I can save it. I started by disassembling the plane. This plane has a simple design held together by one central screw. The first thing I was going to do was grind away the jagged cutting edge on the blade. I did this by drawing a line across the back of the blade, just under the deepest indent. Then it was over to the grinder to remove this damaged edge, just a minimal amount, just the actual indented area. I use this whetstone grinder to put the edge back on the blade. First, I fill the water bath. The wheel turns slowly, taking up water as it rotates, so if a further top up is done, and I was ready to set up the sharpening jig. This particular wheel comes with a jig for setting the angle of the finished blade. For plain blades, you have a choice of 20 degrees for softwood and 30 degrees for hardwood. Not knowing the future use of this plane, could be anything after all. I split the difference and aimed for 25 degrees. Having selected the chosen angle, I set the blade position on the sharpening jig using the provided template. Then it was on to grinding the blade to the required 25 degrees. Having trimmed the edge, quite a bit of blade material needs to be removed. This is a long and tedious business, which I will only show you, the viewer, a small amount. Both the blade and the grinding wheel have the same width, about 50 millimeters or 2 inches, so it was tempting to just run the blade in one position against the wheel. But I like the idea of moving it across the wheel face and also it breaks the monotony of the job. With the wet grinding done, I checked the angle against the template and then moved back to the bench to do some cosmetic work on the blade and clean up the body of the plane. 
I started the cleaning of the blade by rubbing it on a fine grit sandpaper. Once that was finished I gave it a final clean up using metal polish. Then it was on to the body of the plane. The foot and the sides have visible rust which I removed by rubbing these areas on sandpaper. Again, I followed the sanding up with some metal polish. Cleaned up, the plane was ready for reassembly. With it back together, all that remained was to try it out. For this purpose, I chose some old Merbau floorboard, a nice bit of well dried out hardwood. What could be better or worse? So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I welcome a thumbs up and share it share it with your friends share it widely share it with people who aren't your friends it's all good this channel is about making maintaining restoration and fixing things and if you're into that sort of stuff then this is a channel you should probably be subscribed to if you're not already subscribed it's easy just hit the subscribe bar down below while you're there ding the bell so that you get a notification from YouTube the next time a video is aired on the White Dog Garage YouTube channel. Thank you once again for watching and I look forward to talking to you next time.